All right, so you wanna make candles, but you can't compete with the luxury market because of pricing. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't need luxury as much as you think you do, and also to dispel some of the luxury myths that are around candle making. Welcome back everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted, and today I wanted to talk about luxury candles, luxury candle making, and some of the stuff that you should probably stop thinking about when it comes to luxury. Now this topic comes up because of a post I saw within the last couple weeks, and that is actually several posts of people talking about luxury items, luxury oils, luxury waxes, uh, and basically not being able to compete because they don't want to put the price or they can't afford to put the, uh, the cash towards some of those luxury items. And for the most part, I'm going to tell you exactly why you don't need those items if you're going to be making candles. But first, before we get into that one, what is luxury when it comes to candle making? And a lot of times it's gonna come down to different oils, different waxes, obviously all the components of uh, the candle itself from the vessel to the wicks. And what actually determines luxury over the run of the mill waxes, oils, or anything else that you can get at any of the suppliers that are out there. Typically when people are talking about luxury oils, you're getting into oils that have a different uh, or a bit more of a complex makeup than some of the basic oils that you'll see. Now obviously, getting away from oils that you get at some of the big box stores like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anything like that. Those are very poorly done oils. So anything getting away from those, they usually have a lot more dilutants in them, which really makes them very weak uh, in comparison to any of the oils that you'll get at like actual candle suppliers. When you get over to the actual candle suppliers, you're gonna find oils that have a little bit more of a, like I said, a more of a complex makeup. You're gonna find items in there that are a lot higher quality from the oils to the dilutants. And you can definitely smell the difference between an oil that you're gonna pick up at Walmart as opposed to an oil that you get at say like Makesy or Midwest Fragrance. And then of course, once you get to the different suppliers, the oils kind of go all over the place. And there are different oils that you can get at different suppliers that again, have higher quality makeups. And aside from diving really deep into oils and what they're made of, uh, the components that go into those, it really is gonna come down to you and what you like as far as basically smelling them, burning them, because you can get some very expensive oils that smell absolutely incredible, and you can get some $20, $25 oils that also smell incredible. So when it comes down to candle making, for anybody that's just jumping in, you don't always need to go to the most expensive things to get the best output. And then of course, when it comes down to waxes, this is also another area that a lot of people really think you need to go above and beyond. And I'm here to tell you that you really don't need to do that unless you want to. Now, this is not discouraging anybody getting away from the waxes that they like because there are certain reasons that people get into different waxes. Some people like the feel, some people like the look. Uh, I know for me personally, I like to get away from waxes that you don't have as much upkeep, like sinkholes to really deal with after you get done making the candle. So getting to a, a different type of wax, uh, something that has maybe a coconut or a soy or even a paraffin, sometimes those are gonna set a little bit different. So paying a little bit more for a wax that is a little bit less temperamental is definitely worth it for me. But as far as the end result is concerned, when it comes out to the candle, some of those waxes don't necessarily mean it's a better candle for the customer. And another reason I say you don't really need to go to some of the really expensive or higher end quote unquote waxes is there are tons of companies out there who make millions a year from waxes like soy, which is very easy, very economical to get when you're making candles. You can also get into a lot of paraffins, which again are very cheap waxes in comparison to some of the other ones out there. And a lot of companies like Diptyque use paraffins. And if you don't know, Diptyque is kind of one of the higher end candle lines. They do really nice stuff. They have incredible scents and their candles are very expensive. One of the candles that you can get from them is their basic kind of, I think it's where they start out and it's a candle about this size which is almost, which is about seven ounces. That one's about nine ounces. So that one's actually a little bit bigger, but it's a seven ounce candle that retails for about $75. And I'll put a picture of it here so you can see it. This is a candle and this is the one I always go to when I talk about luxury because this is considered a luxury candle. And if you look at it, there's really not a ton on here that is luxury. It definitely comes down to branding, uh, marketing and everything like that to make this desirable to the masses. 
The wax that goes in this one is a paraffin. Now, obviously they do have a proprietary blend, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's not much different from any of the paraffins that you can get out there. They don't have some special ingredient that makes this wax better than any wax that you can get. The oils that they have are definitely a little bit nicer than some of the oils that uh, you're gonna find at even some of the basic suppliers that we all use. And the only reason I say that is because they're having their oils formulated to themselves. They're basically having these things made. So they're going out, they're doing the research, they're creating their own scents. But again, they're getting these oils done in such quantities that they get very good prices on these oils. So they're not spending a ton on the oils that they use for these. And if you do some searching out there, there are a lot of suppliers out there that carry dupes of a lot of these fragrances. So you can find some stuff when it comes down to a candle like Volcano from Anthropology. That is a very popular scent. It's an expensive candle in the store and it's a scent that you can match at probably 10 to 15 different suppliers out there and they all smell incredible. And then of course you'll notice the other thing on this candle is the actual vessel that they use. And that is just a basic, uh, it looks like an eight ounce tapered glass vessel, which is probably 25 to 50 cents. Now, obviously they do have a few other candles that have a little bit nicer vessels on them. Uh, but this basically goes back to my point that not everything has to be crazy expensive to be considered luxury. And for anybody starting out, there are a lot of things that you can do. And I've made plenty of videos on this in the past. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can do to really step up your game and make your candles, basically anything that you're making, even a jelly jar, really stand out. And it's not gonna come down to the wax or the wicks or the oil that you use. Now, the oil does a little bit because you want it to smell good. You wanna have good, strong oils in there so that when you burn it, it gives a good, nice scent throw. But what I mean by doing certain things or little things to step up your game with your candle is is you can do things like getting nicer labels, getting away from the Avery prints. And I will say Avery and online labels, which I use for some of my candle lines, have good labels. You just have to get away from some of the paper labels that can come out kind of not looking great when they print sometimes. But stepping up into like a clear or a gloss or even like a vinyl style label uh, will help the looks of your candle tremendously. And then on top of that, having things done like having somebody else outside of you or outside of Canva design your logo, design the look, uh, anything that will help kind of step it up a little bit. And you can get these things done for very minimal pricing. You don't have to go out and spend thousands to have logos done unless you get to the level where you want to do something like that. And I guess the main point of this video is for the people that have made these comments or the post over the last couple of weeks, uh, it basically, I just wanted to put back into perspective that you can still have a very nice and quote unquote luxury candle line that still have prices that you can easily walk into. And again, the reason I made this video is to not to discourage people away from that, but when a beginner comes into this one and they go out and they get the, like they do the research, they're going through the forums, they're going through the Facebook groups, and they start to get an idea of the nicest oils out there, the nicest waxes out there, the nicest vessels out there. And all of a sudden they're looking at a candle that they made that was $35 to even make the candle. And then of course, if you start looking at pricing on a candle like that, if you're looking at wholesale is double that and retail is times four, you're looking at a candle that's over $100, which is going to be very hard to sell. So that's where a lot of people get very discouraged when it comes to luxury anything. And I kind of wanted to bring some of that back down to earth and show people that it is possible to make uh, a very kind of not really inexpensive candle, but a candle that's far less than $30, $40 to make the candle and still have a very nice luxury style end product. So I hope that helps anybody out there, especially the new people that are just getting into this one. And of course, if you have any comments on this one, please let me know in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next video.